final match that we're going to talk about for the Night of Champions predictions is the main event, or at least it should be. If they don't, then they're really stupid. Uh, Daniel Bryan gets his rematch clause against Randy Orton. And let's cut to the chase right here. Randy Orton's retaining the title. Yeah. Yeah. And but we don't know how. I mean, I, I don't see him actually getting a clean victory over Brian. No, not at all. I'm 100% expecting this to be a screw job. Uh, well, not you know what? I shouldn't say screw job because that kind of makes uh, the impression that the referee is going to be involved or something like that. There's going to be interference. And if there's interference from one person, it's going to be Big Show. If it's from multiple people, The Shield. But I... I think we're going to see Big Show come into play here. I'm really hoping, though, that what they do, and I don't think that they will, so my hopes are kind of like I'm not really putting a whole lot of faith into it. I don't like this Big Show is broke thing because I'm not a huge fan of Big Show being the blubbering, crying type of guy. It just kind of seems weird. and You don't like the fact that he's broke. No, I think that that works better for other people. Big well, show. Well, you know, he could he could have been broke. Look at the size of him. He's probably eating himself out of house and home. You never know. <laughs> I never, I never, you know what? Let me just say something right here. I never understood that whole dynamic, the whole broke wrestler thing. Because doesn't that, isn't that an indictment against WWE? Yeah, it is. Because I it's mean, like, we don't pay you enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I can understand if you did that angle in TNA. It would be 100% true, probably. You get paid well, that'd be a shoot angle crew. TNA. Yeah, that'd be a shoot angle. We're going to make you starve. I mean, come on. It's not like you're blowing your 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 money on hookers and crack, you know? We, <laughs> Miguel, we know- why do you tell people what I spend my money? I mean, um, yeah. Like, no one would do that. You better not be... You, you better That better be the case if we start seeing, you know... I was going to make a lo- uh, joke about your videos looking low budget, but no, nah, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> well, they still look low budget. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's you know what? In terms of this matchup, I'm going to – a lot of what I'm going to say is going to be trumpeting what Mark Madden recently did, uh, wrote on his article. They've beaten down Daniel Bryan so much. If they do – if he does lose, it's going to kill him. I mean they, they basically had him laid out for – I'd say eight, a seven out of the eight uh, shows leading up to here. I mean, they they had him w- uh, go over on Raw. I don't know if he went over tonight, but I mean, they basically killed him for three weeks straight every every night every night. And logic would dictate that if that was the case, that he would be winning this match, uh, this matchup, which makes sense. You know, you beat somebody down so that when they actually do win at the pay per view, it's surprising. If they have him lose by shenanigans or not, it's going to kill any sort of momentum. And it's and I've been using this term a lot. It's going to cut the nuts out from under him. I mean, where else can you go after being – you got your rematch clause, you got your shot, and you lost. What about if he wins, but he wins by DQ? You know what I would like to see? That's what I'm thinking is going to happen, Burhan, personally. Yeah. Or they're going to have something where he wins the title and then Triple H just strips him of it. Yeah, you because know what I would, I would like book. to see out of that? Not that he wins the title and it counts into the books, but I'd like to see them bring back that recap, um, rewind kind of thing that they've done before. I kind of want the referee to get a bump and Daniel Bryan to look like he's going to win, and then everybody, and myself included if they did this, would be like, oh, I get it. They're making Daniel Bryan look like he is the rightful winner. And then somebody's going to come out and attack him. And then Randy Orton will get the pin. I'd really like to see them switch it up and have the referee get a bump. Daniel Bryan to put Randy Orton in the, the yes lock. Orton's tapping out and it's like, why isn't the referee up and whatever. Another referee is like on his way down or whatever. And The Shield or Big Show or whoever you want to have attacks Daniel Bryan. And you're going, oh, no, this is the time where he he just got attacked and the referee's going to come just in time for Randy Orton to get the pinfall. Turns out, doesn't work. Randy Orton gets rolled up or something like that and Daniel Bryan wins the match. And his music goes off and everybody goes, oh, holy fuck, he just won the title back and whatever. Triple H comes down and he goes... The referee has no right 
to call that the end of the match. That referee is the real referee. That does not count. And you know what? You just had these people attack you, and that technically should be a disqualification. Daniel Bryan, you win the match, sure, but you win by DQ. Yeah. That would be a way to to really make it so he won the match, he won the title, but it actually doesn't count into the books at all. And even though it's a really disappointing way to end the night with that, you just kind of end it off with Daniel Bryan attacking Triple H or something like that. And yeah, because they're going to that'll... They're continue screwing him. They're going to continue messing with him. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the best way to do it at the moment is it, that keeps him in the chase. That allows them to have some leverage over him still. And it also gives them a little bit more to work with in terms of his feud. So let it progress and allow him and, and uh, Orton to continue. By not doing that, they're going to screw themselves over. Um, because if Ryan wins the title, they're going to have to chase him. And the the whole problem is the regime has power, it has control at the moment. So that's not going to happen, <laughs> you know. So what they need to do now is figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. And then go from there. I think it's going to I think it's going to be a repeat of when Jericho first won the WWF title. It's it, they they're, they're going to figure out a way to ha- to strip him of the title and I can see that situation where the ref gets knocked out and another ref comes down, counts the pinfall or counts the submission. Daniel Bryan wins, but then Triple H strips him of the title since that wasn't the official official. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, I and and you know what to be fair that would preserve him for at least another month. If they're smart and they really don't want to beat him down, at least now, that would probably be the best way to go because it preserves Brian and at the same time keeps the administration looking strong. Yeah. Mm. And they have to also keep Orton looking strong in this. They can't make this a squash match. No, it's going to be a good it's going to be a good back and forth. Yeah, it has to be. But it has to be just that it proves that Daniel Bryan is the better one between the two. So we're all going Randy Orton, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, te- maybe technically not winning, but uh, he's retaining the championship. I think Brian's going to win by disqualification. Through right, some yeah. means. Or yeah, walking, out or whatever. walking out of it will be Randy yeah. Orton, I mean. Yeah, yeah if he loses, sure. if Brian loses um, the match, there, there's no other way to go. You've just buried the guy. Yeah, he's fucked, you know? basically. Yeah. Hmm. Any other points that I didn't bring up and anybody else wants to bring up? Well, you brought up pretty well every. You brought up probably the most interesting scenario that they could do for the match. Actually, thank you. I'm still going to be on the fact that I believe that they are going to um, they are going to unite the the corporation or the establishment, whatever the hell they're calling it at the moment. They're going to unite that faction. It's going to grow at this pay per view. I can see it now, and I can probably see Brian ending up face down beaten down himself, Ziggler, whoever comes out to help him, will be beaten down by the establishment and the new allies that will be a part of that establishment. We might even see Big Show turn full hill. Again. Yeah. Hmm. Alrighty, everybody. That does us in for Night of Champions predictions. As always, we are going to have updates with the Fantasy League for whatever happens during the pay-per-view. We're going to do our typical pre-show before the pay-per-view, so check that out on megapowersradio.com or blogtalkradio.com slash megapowersradio. And I will have my full review going along with the website, and you can do the chat, all that kind of stuff. Typical uh, setup we have for Smart Out Moment. So check that all out coming your way. Another thing coming your way, guys is a new tournament. I'm going to kind of rush this one, but Monday morning, probably around like 5 a.m. Eastern time or so, maybe 7 a.m., I'm going to officially set out the list, but it's going to be who is the best Grand Slam champion in WWE history. And instead of doing one round a week like we've done with the previous two tournaments, this is going to be kind of a speed round. We're going to do a round every two to three days. And... It's all starting Monday. You have to get your votes in as soon as possible because Wednesday morning is going to be when it switches over to round two. Everybody who has been a Grand Slam champion is a part of it. 
and we're going to figure that out. Who is the best one? The winner is going to be announced on the 28th or the 27th. I'm not too sure yet. Depends on my schedule and how well the tournament's going and all that. But get your votes in for that tournament when it pops up and make sure to spread that around if you want to get extra votes for the people that you're a big fan of. Which is going to take us into the plugs. First plug, as always, Sign Me Up Initiative. Bring a smart gal moment sign to any kind of wrestling event, whether it's a WWE pay-per-view, a taping of TNA Impact, an autograph session, whatever the case. And if you send a picture or video, I'll put it up on the, the next episode of Smack Talk and on the website. Remember to send in those monthly mailbag questions over the next month. Leave those comments, subscribe, so on and so forth. And I'll come back around to me later on, but right now I'm going to pass it to Burhan. Okay, um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, we have an episode of I Got Gameplay tomorrow at 8 p.m. And Miguel Leon will be heading off the show. Uh, hey. We're going to be doing cancelled games. And we're also going to have a special guest um, from who works within the, the games industry, um, which you guys have to tune in to find out who that is. He works for a very reputable company, but the company cannot be named and his job position cannot be named. So if you want to learn all his secrets, do you want his take on certain games, give us a ring on 760-512-7247 or by clicking the Skype button or tweeting at I Got Gameplay and giving us a tweet and let ask loads of loads of questions because that's what we're going to be wanting from you guys. And remember on the 28th of September, we're going to have a huge special guest by a gentleman by the name of Rob Man from the Happy Console Gamer. If you want to ask Rob Man questions... Just join up with the I Got Gameplay Facebook page and hashtag Robman. And we'll make sure that question gets forward to him. Or you can tune in live for the show and give us a call on 760-512-7247. And uh, it will be at a special start time on the 28th at 11 p.m. But all shows up till then will be at 8 p.m. So make sure you guys tune in. It's going to be a great show. Um, and we're going to have like great things going on for I Got Gameplay. And soon we'll be having an I Got Gameplay t-shirt line. If you want an I Got Gameplay t-shirt, I'm going to give a couple away to Smart Cat Moment fans um, just for answering the Ask Hims. Get you guys over to the I Got Gameplay channel to check out our YouTube videos, podcasts and stuff. It's going to be expanding even bigger. And uh, also tune into NerdGenius.com, YouTube.com forward slash The Nerd Genius. I'm going to be doing a review on Pokemon Rumble U on there and hopefully i won't get too sued by nintendo over it um i'll just keep making them on and uh also make sure that you check out my new production company enigma entertainment we're going to be coming out with films loads of bits and pieces and i'll clue you guys in on that when that happens and as always stay tuned to mega powers radio fanboys anonymous smart count moment and everything related under the mango tree because without you guys there's no us and i just want to say a big thank you to everybody even though i do rag on you we do love you so Thank you guys for tuning in all the time. So, next person. Here we go. Uh, well, he already spilled the beans about it. But, yeah, I'm going to be taking over for hosting I Got Gameplay tomorrow. We're going to be taking a look at canceled games. Not just games that you've never played, but games that you thought you've played and games that you maybe have played but by other means. It's gonna We're going to expand on just the canceled games setup, but you'll have to tune in to see... Um, I have no idea who the special guest is, you know, because that's what you do. You, you get a guest that you can't promote at all. Um, but yeah, check that out tomorrow. Check out the Rob Man episode. Hopefully I can host that one too. That'd be nice. <laughs> but um, anyway, other than that, check out fanboysanonymous.com, 90s Kid Presents. I am working on a big return article for the show. Uh, I wasn't going to say what it was, but I might as well. I'm going to be doing a four-week countdown of what I consider to be the top 20 greatest games of the late 90s. I'm doing the research right now. I'm playing some some games that I've, I've gotten my hands on and just putting that together. So check that out. I don't know specifically when it'll happen. It'll probably be when I finish these uh, few games. But um, yeah, check that out when it comes about. Check out my old articles on fanboysanonymous.com and check out tomorrow's show, 8 p.m. sharp. All right, on behalf of... Drew White, Bouncy Houses. On behalf of Mike Payton, Keeping Kayfabe, and everything going along with Mega Powers Radio, you guys are all dedicated followers. You know pretty much the whole spiel of the plugs by now, but 
go ahead and check out everything going on with Peyton's Place. Braden, your turn. Okay, as usual, uh, those of you listening who haven't already done so, you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash spoodbeast. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter also at spoodbeast. You've heard it spouted off by the rest of the panel already, but, of course, visit uh, Tony's other website, fanboysanonymous.com, for everything geek. Keep supporting Smart Out Moment and Smack Talk, as well as every other production involved with Mega Powers. We've got a great group of guys here who I would just love to continue to collaborate with. And back to you, Tony. All right, guys, if you want to follow other things under a mango tree, fanboysanonymous.com has already been mentioned, outonlimbs.com for my social commentary on everyday life. Last article I posted was my complaints about people that don't use turning signals when they drive. Got a couple other ones that I might be posting real soon. It depends on how much time I have to uh, work on that. Thanks again to everybody on the panel tonight, as well as all of you for listening. Coming up next week, we will have our review and our image captions for Night of Champions. But for now, this has been another Smark Out moment, and we're being counted out. Adios, everybody. Outro, 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 outro,